So this journal here is six and a quarter inches wide, that's 16 centimetres, eight and a half or 21.5 centimetres long, one and a half, and the spine is one and a half inches wide, which is four centimetres. It's constructed from bookboard, which has been covered in hand dyed paper. There are um, metal corners on all four of the outside corners and the spine is covered with a second layer of cardboard. This is um, a pearlized cardboard that has been embossed and then glued on. She's, her closure is a satin and organza ribbon which can be undone. On the spine, I have a tassel. Now this tassel is not removable. The brown, the brown and the coffee dyed uh, tapes are seam binding. They are vintage cotton seam binding and they are more than 50 years old. I have included some vintage beads. There's a set here on ribbon and there is another one when I find her here. This is a vintage um, bead as well again it is mounted onto ribbon um, there are some other beads these are rose beads here and there's another dark rose bead here and then then there are a couple of these bronze leaves the inside cover of the book is also made with hand dyed paper. Now this hand dyed paper was made using onion skins um, and the technique that I used was to dip them in the dye bath and then crumple the paper up. I then dripped in some inks uh, and some watered down acrylic paint so the red is acrylic paint the darker is a little bit of ink, gold ink that I have put into a dropper and then dropped inside the scrunched up papers uh, before they dried and then they were left to dry opened up and ironed so they are still fairly crinkly and um, they just come out really beautiful this page here was also made using the same dye bath however this was a different kind of paper this was more absorbent and this is a watercolor paper or a cartridge paper it's, it's actually quite thick so I've used it on the cover of the first signatures just to give it a little bit more strength here you can see some of the gold ink is actually visible. This, this is a coffee dyed paper um, and this is a double sided hidden paper clip. This was a digital print and came from Pixabay and there is a piece of light coffee dyed paper in there. This is mounted on to a brown paper bag. It's in the right way, it will go in better. Uh, and it's aged with uh, embroidered organza ribbon. Inside the bag, there is a little folder, um, some more coffee dyed paper, and you could put a photograph inside that. This is a digital print again, and it's been made into a booklet. And that just paper clips in with a gold paper clip. Uh, this is one of my own designs, it's digitally printed. Again, this is another of my own designs from Vintage, digitally printed. This is paper that I already had, but this folds out so that you can write on the inside of this tuck. And then inside the tuck is some hand dyed papers um, and a little bit of paper lace. This is mounted onto parchment, yellowish uh, natural colour parchment paper. I've just used a little fussy cut butterfly to lift this page a little bit. This is an interesting piece of paper that I bought from a shop called Alice in Paperland in Sydney some years ago. It appears to be a mulberry paper uh, or mulberry type paper with some um, fibres embedded into it. I did buy two pieces. This is the last piece and I've been hoarding it for quite a while now. But I have taken the plunge and used it on this journal. This page is a pearlized, is pearlized paper. It's reasonably thick. Um, I've made a pocket here from a from some coffee dyed paper. 
and there's some coffee dyed paper inside. This is more of the vintage seam binding and that's just held in place with a pocket from a pad of papers that I had, a little cut out and some bling. Now this also is part of a pocket and in the pocket I have some more coffee, uh, some more hand dyed paper and there is a little tag that pulls out from there. Slide that back in. This was from the same pad, so I have uh, this page that was, was a 12 by 12, so there was this beautiful rose in the corner and there was lots of this paper that was shaded um, and I've used that to create the other side of the pocket and then I've used some of the leftover pieces on this side uh, to create an interesting pocket. Inside I've put a card that can be written on um, and that again is more of the onion skin dyed paper. The backing is a quite a heavy watercolour paper. This paper here is an embossed paper and you can't cut it with, with a guillotine. It has to be cut by scissors. Um, it's a fairly fibrous kind of, fabri of uh, paper. And what I've done here is I've created a pocket and then I've just folded the edge over to give a little bit of interest to the page before. Now this little booklet, this doesn't undo, but the ribbon slides down off of it. This is a boiled book page that I made and then inside you open it up um, and there's room to write and there's a little belly band in there as well. And you just simply bend it slightly and slide it back on to its closure and this closure is coffee dyed vintage cotton seam binding. Now, if you're wondering what boiled books are, this is a technique where you layer vegetation and paper together uh, and then you roll it up, tie it with string and you boil it for um, about half an hour to an hour. Um, let it take it out of the water, let the water drip out of it. I put mine in an old uh, dish drainer and then I unroll them the next day and I lay them out to dry. Now you need to use non-toxic plants for this. Most of these are plants from my garden. So most of it is, is lavender, roses and rosemary. This is the other side of that interesting paper from Alice in Paperland. This was a digital print and here I have just made out of some leftover papers and this in fact is a uh, it's some parchment paper. I've just made a little pocket and there's a little piece of paper in the pocket. And that just sits in there nicely. Again, it's edged with that same embroidered um, organza lace. Some more of the dyed paper, the onion skin dyed paper. Some more of the parchment paper. Here I've made a belly band. This is um, Venice lace. It is uh, machine made and um, it's rayon and from this I've created a belly band it's very delicate at the edges so I covered the edges with some leftover digitally printed paper this was one that I designed myself from um, uh, antique uh, images and I've created a tag with the same uh, paper and then there's another tag there it's a swing tag held together with a brad I've covered over the back of the brad with a little heart and then it can be the backs are plain so they can be written on and they just tuck inside the belly band again another another one of my own papers another one of my own papers this is a digital image from a um, from vintage image and I've put it onto the onto the other side of the brown paper bag and inside the brown paper bag there's a tag there or a card there made from um, my own papers. This was a digital print link below and I've created a little envelope that opens out from a, a one-sided sheet of paper just folded it down and that just tucks up there inside the little top tuck some more coffee dyed paper and this is the end of the signature so that's the other side of that um, onion skin paper that was done on heavy paper and here I've put a double sided paper clip with a ta little tag attached to it. 
The second signature starts the same way. Again, I've used the onion skin dyed paper and the rest of that paper from the, the one that had the pale pink rose on it. And I've created a little matching tag that is blank on the back. I made the little rose there from scrap paper and inside I have two cards. Again, this is the onion skin dyed paper. It's blank on the back for you to write on. That little piece just comes off. Um, there's more of the, the digital, sorry, the antique seam binding. More of the paper. This time, this was not the onion paper. This one is done with rosemary and silver paint. And there's a, a little bit of embossed paper on that side. This one is, is an index card, so it's got lines for you to write. And they just tuck inside the pocket. This is also another pocket page. And there is uh, a little card in there um, that's leftover paper from that big pack. And then this is um, a, a pink t a tinted um, parchment paper. The other side of the pocket is a digital, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't print this, This I bought this from a shop that was just a 12 by 12 paper. I'm not sure who it's, whose it is. I had it for a very long time and then I just used some washi tape here um, and a strip of leftover paper here. These two script papers I've had in a pack for a very long time. I've used those as well, decorated with a little bit of washi tape and then a little bit, a few scraps of paper there. Again, the uh, the seam binding, and those are both index cards, so they're lined on the back. Here I've created a belly band and a pocket uh, in the one go. So the belly band is made of the vintage seam binding. The pocket is made from the onion skin dyed paper, which is mounted on card to give it a little bit more body. I've got a digitally printed um, tag here. This is this is one that I made myself from a digital from a vintage uh, card. This was just some leftover paper in a package, um, and I've created two little pockets. And inside each pocket, there there is a, a piece of coffee dyed paper, and then it's folded up into what looks like a little booklet with some more of the vintage seam binding there. Again, another piece of leftover paper. This is mounted onto the slightly pinky looking uh, um, parchment paper and just a, a digital print. This one's come from Pixabay. It's blank on the back to be written on. It just sits in the little pocket and more of that embroidered organza ribbon uh, lace. This is a boiled book page. This one doesn't have uh, any kind of um, uh, print on it. What happened was I ran out of vegetation that I knew was non-toxic. So I just added a couple of paper papers on the top and rolled it all up. And I add, added some rosemary to the water as I boiled it. And so you get little seepages in on the edge from the dye. Um, and just a few little watery kind of streaks down the page and it looks it's, it's actually quite effective on this page I've used another of the um, boiled book pages and I've turned it into a little booklet you can see here some of the um, this one actually did have vegetation on it so you can see some of that has printed um, and I put a couple of little butterflies on the middle uh, of the booklet um, and this is pamphlet stitched with some fussy cut butterflies and that tucks into a little tuck there that I've made out of this is embroidered net it's also a belly band um, and this is the onions I'm not sure whether that's the onion that might be boiled paper that's mounted onto this blue cardboard here I have a little pocket that goes up you could you could hide something in there and that's a digital print and that then is glued onto um, the doily the paper doily I've just glued another piece of paper on the other side of the doily this just gives it a little bit of body uh, through the center so it doesn't tear as easily um, and again this one is a little pocket that goes up this is another of my papers 
It's a darker version of this paper and I've added some lines to that. This is more of that embossed paper and it's covering up the flap of an envelope. I didn't particularly like the colour of the envelope so I just covered the flap with this nice piece of paper and then I'm using that as a tuck. It's mounted onto coffee dyed paper and there's a piece of coffee dyed, folded coffee dyed paper just tucked into the tuck. This side is the other side of the envelope. I've used a vintage image on the front and then I've glued some papers from a pad, a 12 by 12 pad um, to cover the rest of the envelope and there's a card that matches that just slides in. This is the centre of the signature. I've left these strings here. They can be cut shorter if you want or you could tie or glue something to the end of those if you wished. It's another of my little images that fits with the set that I've used. This is a fold out envelope that can be written on, made of coffee dyed paper and it just does up in the little cut out there. This is a Kaiser Craft stamp. It's another one of my images there and just a little bit of washi tape along the bottom. The other side of this paper, darker on this side. Again, another up tuck. This can be written on this paper. It's coffee dyed paper. And then a, the digital printout. This one doesn't isn't a pocket. Here is some more boiled book paper. This slides out, so you've got a pocket here, sorry, a tuck here and a tuck here, so you could put any number of things in there, or you and you can write on that paper that's folded, it, it folds out. A page to write on. This was from the same uh, page that I made it a corner further forward in the book. I've made another little booklet with some paper. This time I used the sewing machine to sew a down, down the centre. And there is also a, an open up card which is blank inside which you can write on or mount photographs or ephemera into. And that is mounted onto more of the parchment paper. And then I've just got a little uh, heart in the corner there from my own design and you, this page can be written on. This is the other side of that paper that I told you that I bought. It's the same washi tape, the same um, scrap of paper and just a few cards to write on. Again, this side is also a pocket. So there's a piece of the parchment paper there and a double sided hidden paper clip. On this side, I have a, um, a backing paper and then I've mounted some other paper on it. This paper was from a large pack of paper that I had and I just fussy cut this bird and some of the flowers out. Behind it is a little bit of the pearlized paper and then there are, there are a couple of tags that go with it. This is roughly embossed paper. I love this piece of paper. Um, it came in a packet of interesting papers that was given to me and was already cut into the heart shape. I just inked around the edges to finish it off. More onion dyed paper and that is the end of the signature. The last signature also is using um, the onion skin dyed paper and because this is the last signature and of course that paper is going to be on the very last page, um, to give it a little bit of body I've used the thicker paper. This is just a little scrap that is mounted onto a flower cut out with a stick on pearl. There's some coffee dyed muslin underneath that and then underneath that is what we call it Hessian in Australia. Um, other parts of the world call it burlap. On this side, this is paper but it looks like leather um, and I have created a pocket with that. Uh, with a couple of little tags. This is actually quite thick rough paper. It came in that same pack with the heart further further back. Um, I've just put a little cluster on it but I've put some coffee dyed lined paper on the back so that it can be written on. This is too dark and too rough to write on as is and that's why I've put that little piece of paper on the back. Some more of that same rough paper 
in this case I've adhered it to some more parchment paper inside is a little origami envelope and there is some paper inside the origami envelope and a page to write on or perhaps to attach some ephemera to and that is just a little bit of coffee dye paper that was mounted on a scrap of cardboard and torn um, and I've just done a, uh, a stamp on that more coffee dyed paper this is an onion skin dyed paper mounted onto card more of the seam binding um, this is a vintage image that I've had for a while it came from a postcard again it's mounted onto some more card that has is actually very textured and very thick um, that again came from that same pack of interesting card on paper and I, I've put some lined coffee dyed paper on the back and then there's a plain um, journal card there and then there's a little paper clip here with a little bit of gold ribbon on it this is a digitally printed image and again this one came from pixabay it's folded up into quite a number of pockets so you've got this pocket here you've got this pocket here and you've got this pocket here and then i've made this this was a paper i bought and a little last little strip of that Alice in Paperland paper here. Um, there's a little booklet here, very tiny booklet, and it's just got a piece of coffee dyed paper in. And they just sit into all the little tuck spots in this page. Um, there's more hidey holes behind it, as you saw, and those just slide. It, that just slides in there. This is a piece of vellum that I printed on. The print that's on it is a generic print that I made using some digital um, brushes in Photoshop. Again, another digital image. I created a frame from a scrap. The whole thing is mounted onto cardboard, which has onion skin paper on it. Another, this is from that same pack of interesting papers, but these flowers were already cut, so I just used one of those. And then there's a card here that's a Tim Holtz stamp and some rayon ribbon here, uh, lace here. On this side, two more pieces from that pack of interesting paper. I really loved this. It's, it's very light, so I have mounted it onto cardboard and created a little pocket on the back. Um, and then this, I've, again, this was fairly rough. Um, it was dark on the other side, so I've just put some um, coffee dyed paper on the back so that it can be written on and it just tucks into that little flap there. And then we have some more of that organza embroidered ribbon here. This strip of paper, this is just, this paper here is copy paper. It's a tinted copy paper. I've just jazzed it up a little bit along the edge by adding a strip of this or um, embroidered organza lace and the last little strip that I have of this paper this paper I bought as a single sheet and I think I bought it in Lincraft I really loved it wish I'd bought more I don't remember why I only bought the one sheet it's possible there was the only one sheet was there and that's why I bought it but that's the last little bit um, and I've used it in this diary and I backed it on the other side just to give this this copy paper which is fairly lightweight um, just to give it a little bit of body um, and reinforcing along the outside edge. This is parchment paper that I've stenciled. And then I've got a collection of interesting little bits and pieces inside it. This is the center of the signature. Again, I've left the strings in case um, and anybody who has this diary or this journal would like to um, tie something to the ends or glue something to the ends got coffee dyed paper pocket here uh, a little bit of paper this folds out it's coffee dyed paper and then I just put a little strip of the onion dyed paper there the onion dyed paper did tend to be a little bit fragile on some pages if they weren't terribly thick this one tore along its own lines so I've just inked the edges and it's rather interesting little piece of paper just add a little bit of paper lace there this is the other side of that copy paper and to give it strength I've got some coffee dyed um, seam binding there that's the the antique seam binding which I've zigzagged on and then on the other side there's just a little bit of gold ribbon this was from a six by six paper pack 
this can't quite remember it may have been a page that I bought separately or it came it's a page that was in a pack of pages that I bought so it's a commercial paper inside it's got some coffee dyed paper that folds out now because this this journal is fairly thick you'll see a lot of these where I've created something that can be taken out and written in because it can get a little bit difficult to write on pages when you've got a book of this size. Some more coffee dyed paper tucked into this fold and some paper lace there. That's a Martha Stewart edge cutter that I've used. The other side of the, the vellum. This is just a simple um, pieces of leftover card and paper from paper packs. Um, I've created a little little postage stamp start, size um, image there and put it on the bottom for a little bit of interest. Um, and they're just hold, held in place with a double-sided paper clip. And this is pearlized pink paper. I think it's a Canson paper that is just the other side of the signature. On this side, there's more of this... Um, onion skin dyed paper. This has got a little booklet with scraps of paper to make little notes on. Um, it also opens out. It's got a pocket with some little scraps of coffee dyed paper in it. And this was the, that same paper that I said only had a little tiny strip and scraps left. So I've made a heart out of that. That was the other side of that paper. It was lovely. It was sort of like a mottled um, deep salmon colour. It was really lovely. just sits back in the pocket this page is just stenciled it's coffee dyed paper I've just stenciled along the edge and and along this edge too these are old stick-on um, stencils that I've had for years um, that I've just only just now started using um, and a little fussy cut butterfly and this is the last page so I've created a, a belly band and inside the belly band there is a pocket tag with two little tags in it. You can write on the back of it because this was made from a, an index card. Um, this was light, lightish. Um, it's not a tissue paper. Again, it's one of those that you need to cut with scissors. Um, but that again was from that interesting paper package. Um, as was this card and as was this and this piece here. So I've just used bits and pieces that were left over from that paper pack um, to create this. This is some rayon lace here um, and I've just created a nice little pocket there. And the last page, again there's another little pocket here. This is all onion dyed paper. So this journal does up. It is made with, it's, it's not terribly thick bookboard but it is bookboard um, it does tie up with this ribbon but I would suggest that you don't tie it up too tightly because I've noticed that journals that are tied up tightly tend and are, which are made of the bookboard they do tend to bow a little bit if you tie them too tightly so just tie it enough so that it doesn't come open and then just leave it so once again if you're interested in this um, in this journal um, please contact me um, otherwise I'm happy to keep it in my stash thank you